Okay, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Okay, we're looking at Kim Moore commercial five temp unit. Uh, here is our special note. Uh, okay, so I've already uh, investigated this. And here we can see we have the vent, it's not kink. But the most common problem with these when they do not heat is this thermal cutoff fuse here. This thermal cutoff fuse, this is part number here. Very common problem. And the problem, the reason why these fuses blow, basically they have poor flow in the room. Now we have some vent here, but I'm not sure where that goes. That could be just a closed vent. We also have the sliding glass door, which is solid. Um, so poor flow is what these things are all about. They'll overheat, then blow. This is a non-resettable fuse. It has to be replaced. It can be easily checked with an ohm meter. You have a meter. You're looking, for, you're looking for continuity across these two here. Of course, you always want to unplug your unit before you mess with this stuff. And you should have continuity between here and here, between these two terminals right here. So if you put your meter across these two terminals, your meter should look something like that, zeros. If you don't get zeros, then that thing's shot. And so what you also want to check out is, check out your lint situation. This was not too bad. Definitely needs to be cleaned. Also, you want to check out inside. Right back in here. We can see there's a little bit of lint built up back here, but not too much. A little uh, wrapper here, something stuck on here. But it's not too bad. It's fairly clear. No lint, no major lint built up. There is a little bit, and you can take a brush and brush that out. You want to make sure your barrel's going to spin a little bit. Looking good there. Motor's good. Check your door switch. If your machine does not come, not come on, and you don't have that door switch action there, you'll normally hear the click when that door closes. Uh, here's your model number. If you don't hear that click when your door closes, that switch is probably shot and your dryer will not come on. Okay, so we're going to go ahead here and check the vent. Now these vents, I do not like the situation here with this vent at all. You always want to make sure these are all clear. And we have quite a bit of lint built up here, inside here. It's going to aggravate the situation. All this stuff away from here should be all away. This might be a, considered a fire hazard. You can see the lint has uh, gone on the bushes here. This plant. We're going to have to prune it back a little bit, and it's pruning season, so uh, that's definitely what you want to make sure is working correctly. Stick your hand in there, make sure it's flowing. Also, you want to turn it on and watch the flow, and make sure you have good flow with this machine on. You, what happens is, like in a place like this, you should have a sign. That says, tenants, whatever, users must clean uh, their pockets. Because what happens is, if people don't clean their pockets, they wash their clothes and could get stuck in a water pump and cause other problems. They get past the washing machine into the dryer, they can cause other problems. They can cause uh, the blower fan to stall or get hung up somewhere. Uh, they can cause the, the little particles, whatever debris, to clog up the vent system. And so, so that's a couple of tips for you. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I also have a uh, appliance repair course. Uh, and it involves a year of coaching and a link to over 100 repair videos. And if you're interested, you can contact me at. Mr. Maintain at Hotmail.com, M-R-M-A-I-N-T-A-I-N at Hotmail.com. I also give phone advice for $25, so if you need some phone help, uh, you can call me 707-443-8347. Thank you.